Obviously we're into water and uh, the, the, the big question and the biggest topic that we're asked for and the problem to solve is probably chlorine in the water. Uh, you've come across chlorine issues and anything on chlorine pops off the Look, top. Look, ab absolutely, because when, when we started doing our work just in the home environment, chlorine was a gas that we obviously had to look at in the air and one of the major sources, and people don't realise this, is, is via the shower. Yep. Via the shower, because uh, when, you, when you're drinking, you're drinking a couple of litres a day. But yeah. coming back to the shower, you might be in that shower and you're really stressed, you come home and work, you're sitting there for five or ten minutes or stand there for five or ten minutes and you're breathing. <sighs> yes. Litres and litres and litres of air which is rich in chlorine because chlorine yes. forms a gas in hot water mm. and under pressure which is what a shower is. Brilliant. Almost like a perfect little gas chamber. So our biggest source of, source of chlorine is probably coming, for most people, right. from the shower. Right. And then secondary from what we drink and that, that goes in the food and, and, and other things. Yeah. We've known about this for 50, 60 years. Right. It's been questioned. Now, I, I do want to take one step back though and say chlorine added to water is yeah. essential. Yes. Because if we didn't, we'd have all this waterborne disease, yeah, yeah. and we'd have um, uh, all, and foodborne disease, and so on. We'd have yeah. a lot of people like what happens in third world countries when floods or you yeah. know there's a tsunami goes through, and the, the biggest thing is getting mm. water bottles or, or water to them right. urgently. Right. Um, so getting clean water and chlorine is the simplest single way to do mm. it on mass. Right. It's cost effective, and governments look at that in in the end. However. Chlorine in water also poses health problems longer term. Right, yes. And when you consider something like I described the shower and or drinking water, and you're doing it every single day, yep. from before you're born, mm. what you're getting from mum and so on, right, right. right through to infanthood, breast right. milk, right through to you know mm. young kids, to us mm. as adults, mm. you know, that's a long time that we're exposed to a low level. Yep. of toxin right and all the studies overwhelmingly show first of all that the chlorine which is a very interactive molecule yes it's um it's what you what, what you would call um, a free radical kind of what well, most people would know that it's an oxidizing agent yep and that's why it kills the bacteria right you know it breaks them kills and breaks them down and so on yep. in the process of doing that it interacts with anything else's in there yes and can produce a whole raft of hundreds of potentially toxic chemicals. Mm. You'd, you'd look at that list, you go, wow, what's that in? You go, mm. water. Yeah, and that's yeah. coming from the interaction of the chlorine yep. with the other molecules and the other atoms and so on, other right. chemicals mm. in the water to produce yeah. that. And on that side, we know from, again, for the last 50 years, that these chlorinated byproducts yep. contribute to long-term chemical exposure and illness. Yep. And that goes right through from birth defects, right okay, right through up to your cancers mm. and mm. those, uh, but also long-term in terms of um, causing damage to your organ systems and right. leading to an increase in the risk of heart attacks and strokes right, right. and all those. You know, in, in a way, you could look at it and go, wow, they are linked to so many of these health conditions. Right. Where do we start? Right. I note because I've watched other doctors in YouTube videos and I note one doctor in particular and he says uh, when you have a shower and the water goes over 25 degrees, when you hop out of the shower and you're feeling a bit dizzy, it's not because you've had a nice shower in winter, it's because you're half dead. Mm. You know, and I have trouble getting people to understand that, but I appreciate yeah. it and uh, we can look back and listen now. Well look, you're breathing, you're breathing that in. Yes. And that, it's a volatile chemical, mm. which means that it, it likes moving around a lot and fast. Right. And so it easily absorbed into mm. the lungs, mm. easily mm. goes in the, but even in the lungs, um, you, we all have a, uh, everyone's heard about the microbiome and the microbiome. You've got a lung microbiome. Of course, you're breathing in lots of chlorine and therefore you're, mm getting that in there. Destroying damage yeah. in the air, right. And no matter what, wow. whether it's a, a little bit or a lot, mm. Mm. Um, you're doing some damage. Right, yeah. You're doing some damage. Yeah, yeah. At the bottom line, uh, we need to get the chlorine we, out. Yeah, yeah. we do. So we need yep. it in the water, yep. in the yep. mass system, but we need to take it out yep. before we consume it. Beautiful.